and uh, we are going live in uh, five, four, three, two, and one. What is going on? My name is Ben, and welcome to another episode of my daily vlog where I strive to inspire you to achieve your goals and therefore your dreams. How are you? Happy Monday night. Today has been a nice day for me and for uh, my family because I was able to pass the math uh, test uh, at uh, the community, community College of Vermont and now I have one exam left which is called a CLEP test and then I have another three classes I need to take to get my computer systems management AS an associate degree and uh, I hope to I do hope to graduate uh, on the summer of 2020 so not this upcoming July but the next one they do have a um, they, do, they do make a, a graduation graduation ceremony for everybody graduating every summer so my wife got hers last year and uh, I hope to get mine next year. But anyway, today was a good day for me because they do have a math assessment that you need to take and I was able to pass the test. So I'm very happy about that and uh, I have a lesson to share with you and that is to never give up because I was out of time. I was the last student on the class. We were like six people, I think. And I was uh, out of time, really. I had 34 questions and I was able to complete 23. And I was thinking, I'm not going to make it. So within the last minute, I thought, even if I, if I pick anything, I am not going to be able to pass this test. So, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to try. So within one minute, I was able to answer three other questions and I just very briefly read the the questions and I picked there was a mu multiple choice and I just gave it my my best guess and uh, so then my the time was over I had an hour and after an hour you know you just can't it, it will block your screen basically and then you can't continue with your test so I looked at, at the teacher, at the professor who was there, and I said, well, I ran out of time, so I think I'm going to have to come back another time. And she said, oh, okay, you're done? Okay, let me check. So she checked and said, no, actually, you did pass. I said, oh, really? Yeah, yes. Uh, you, you did pass with just a <laughs> minimum score, but you were able to pass. And uh, I was very happy and surprised because... She said, yeah, you know, you didn't answer eight questions, but apparently all the other questions were were right. And so I was just able to barely pass the test. And uh, I, I guess that I got lucky. But what I mean by never, never give up is in a situation like this one where you, you know, you are like thinking you're, gonna, you're not going to make it. Well, still is keep um, kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking and, and see what happens, you know. And uh, sometimes you will lose and sometimes you will win. And uh, so this time was I was lucky, I guess, in a way. And uh, I did study, of course, and apparently all the other questions were right. So uh, I'm very happy and I pass. And that's what I wanted to share with you today to never give up. I know it's a cliche, but uh, here's an example that happens to me, happened to me today. So... Now I'm going to chapter six, one of the segments on chapter six for master plan your success. And the segment I have for you today reads, it's entitled, Obstacles are transformed limitations. You can be and do anything you want within your true real limits. The trick is to define your limits with deep sincerity without confusing limits with obstacles. Limits are usually lack of imagination on how to transform those limits into obstacles to then overcome them. 
Limits are often created by your mind and therefore they do not exist. They're, most, they're, they're mostly intangible and your focus can help you avoid transforming them into obstacles. Use your imagination to put yourself in an in, in, in inescapable situation where you have no choice other than to fix that problem, overcome that situation, or beat that obstacle. Imagine that you are in a life or death situation. How would you surpass that limit, that obstacle? If all doctors gave up on your child, would you let her or him die? Or would you go to the end of the world to find a cure? Create a solution by transforming your limitations into overcomable obstacles. Again, you know, there, there's always extremes, you know, for this kinds, this kinds of, uh, this kind of thinking, you know, so you can say, well, but I mean, I, you know, I can't lift the moon with one finger, you know, so that is a problem. I'm going to try to solve that problem. Well, you know what I mean? That that's an extreme, but you know, and an example like your kid, if they tell, they tell you that it's no safe for your kid. I, I don't know about you, but I'm going to fight with my last breath and I'm going to go until the end of the world to find a different opinion, you know, until the last breath of her or, or his life, you know, and that, that's all I'm saying is, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, limits are just uh, a a creation of your mind or a, cre or a sometimes influenced by society but but by but what other people tell you you know even your family or in this case a doctor you know but you get the point uh, try to transform your limitations into obstacles because once when a limitation becomes an obstacle well uh, sometimes it is easier to overcome them, you know, and find a solution. And now I am going to read you a quote from the back of my book where I have a collection of personal quotes. And the quote I have for you today reads, Giving is another way of taking. So let me know what you think about that, about that quote in the comments below. And what do you think about obstacles too? I don't really want to go much into that quote, but you know, um, here's my take. So when you give to some, when you give to people, you're taking too because you are taking. It, it makes you feel better. So yeah, you know, you're taking that to yourself. So in a way, you know, uh, you are being a little selfish when you give. I, I hope you know what, what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that when you give you're selfish. No, but what I mean, there is a little bit of selfishness because giving makes you feel good. And it's a good thing to do. So every time you can give, please do give because uh, it is making our world a better place. Not a cliche, but it's true. So that is all that I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Monday. And I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday. At, at around this time and uh thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a like your likes really do help my channel so much and i really do appreciate them i really 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 do appreciate your likes it takes you a second or two to click that like button or touch that like button on your phone and they really really help my channel so thank you if you did that and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And if you want notifications, hit that bell. And you will get a notification every time I upload a video or I publish a video. For instance, today I did publish uh, a video I made for my school. And uh, so somebody else was, a, was able to watch it. And now I'm going to take it down. But I mean, I know some people got a notification when I published it. 
And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them as soon as possible, typically the very next day, unless I need to research the answer, and in which case I, it will take me a little longer to respond, but I will respond. I promise I always respond to all of my questions unless it's, uh, it's a spammy question, which I typically delete. That's it. That, that's all that I got for you, Donai. Thank you again so much for watching. And... I will see you again tomorrow night. Good night.